What is up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're doubling back. I actually missed this one. I don't know how I missed this one, but I missed this one. Came out about a month or so ago called Steam World Quest. I've always been a big fan of the Steam World Dig games, so I figured we'd check it on out. This one strikes a different tone from the previous entries to, I guess, the Steam World Nebulous by being an RPG with cards and all that kind of fun stuff. So let's go ahead and start a new adventure, and we'll play on a suitable difficulty for most players, because I'm not talented like that. Oh, Dad, tell me a story first, please. Oh? You want to hear another tall tale from the high seas, do you? No, not another pirate story. I want to hear about dragons and knights in shining armor. Dragons, you say? Well, then we have to go way back to the Age of Heroes. When our world was still young and innocent, the gods grew born and forged a heart of evil and placed it in the chest of a behemoth. A true hero was called upon, and by his hand, the corrupted heart of the monster was torn out and buried where it could do no harm. Over the years, his heroic deeds fell into obscurity. Instead, heroes of fortune spread across the land like a shadow. But there was still light to be found. Our story begins with two such lights. Two friends strolling through the forest in search of a mushroom. So you're telling me the gods got bored, so they were like, hey, let's just blow up the planet. What a bunch of douchebag gods. Chapter one. The knight and the alchemist. That's like legitimately the worst. Like, that's like nasty. That's gnarly. Why would you do that? Everything is at peace and you just got bored? As if sent on a mission by the ancient gods, our heroes cut their way through Green Fingers Grove. The smell of hazard and fungus hit them as they searched for the fabled peppermint puffer. Can you stop narrating everything? Chapter 3 in the Hero's Handbook clearly points out the importance of visualizing. Visualizing my foot? That fully illustrated book of yours is a pun-ridden cringe fest. Hey, don't diss my book! Anyways, when are we eating? We should have taken Galeo up on that breakfast offer before we left off. He didn't invite us for breakfast. He said he'd rather eat the slowly gathering dust in his basement before joining a mushroom hunt. And this mushroom we're hunting is important enough for you to literally pull me out of bed? You can't do real alchemy from the comfort of a bed. A few of the professors at the college actually tried that, but the rest of them shriveled up over their research in a musty, some forsaken labs. There was one professor, though. He really inspired me. She underlined the importance of actually going out in the world to deploy knowledge practically for the good of the many. Today's deployment is about finding medicinal peppermint peppers. Not only is it hyper anti hypertensive, hepato protective, and nephro protective, it can also. Oof, you're putting me in the mood for stew. We're not making a stew. Now look, let's just get going. I know you get restless, so why don't you take the lead for a little while? Onwards, then. We shall adventure inside of our great clockwork armor. Is there anything in the bushes? Nay. Anything in the rocks? Nay. Alright, so we can interact with things. That was easy. Time enough to get these cooked up before the rooster crows. Unfortunately, these are common brushwood amanitas. We're after a peppermint puffer, remember? Dang. Also, they're poisonous, so don't eat that. Double dang. All right, well, what else we got going? Ooh, there was gold in the bushes. Apparently, those bushes recently had a payday. Ow. More pompous posers from the village. Wait a minute. I knew the guild had some flimsy hangarounds, but you're practically rattling around in that bulky armor. Did you just call me scrawny? Whoa, easy now. I didn't say, this armor fits me perfectly. Here we go. Oh, cool. So we've got little cards. All right. So we've got Heroic Strike. We've got Punch Cards. We can choose three cards to play every turn. The cards will be lined up at the top of the screen. If you're happy, we can finish off. All right. 
And we've got Bravado. What does that do? Heals Armily by 75 magic and raises her strength by one grade for three turns. All right, we'll do that. And then we'll play Heroic Strike there and Heroic Strike there, and we'll see what happens. Da -na -na -na, getting stronger! Ooh, we did 13 damage instead of the 11 that it said it was going to deal. See, we're bringing it up right... Ow, I've been stabbed! You said we were just going to look for mushrooms, and this has gotten pretty bloody. Flame Wave and Fire Pillar. Strike, Upgrade, and Skill. Strike cards are what they sound like. Upgrade cards and power, and then heroes can use striker upgrades. They build up steam pressure, which can be spent to play powerful skill cards. All right, we'll do a flame wave on both of them. That sounds good. Oh, that uses up three turns. All right, well, I guess we'll just have to live with that. We also have book bash and mana barrier. What does mana barrier do? Grants an ally a damage shield. They go 20%. Yeah, do that on Armalie or whatever their name is. That sounds good. Oh, really? We'll fire pillar that guy then. I like the spell effects. It's purdy. I probably should have finished that guy off right there, though. That was probably a mistake. Yeah, I'm about to get double stabbed again. Luckily, I have a shield that can kind of tank that damage. I was hoping both attacks would go to that person. So we've got Braved Basher. Each striker upgrade card generates SP or heroes of a shared pool. Skill cards are versatile and powerful, but if you don't have enough SP, you can't play them. All right. Sounds good. Do Heroic Strike right there, and then, like, Book Bash right there, and then Book Bash right there. That's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Down goes the first enemy, and of course, the book bash will settle the others with the power of knowledge. Our fuel units have allowed us to get rid of the foes we were concerned about. A little bit of XP right there, sounds good. We got some trashium scrap and a little bit of gold. Easy as mushroom pie. Mmm, pie. We've clearly stepped into Coglin turf here. Let's just try to get out one piece, okay? You think there's more of them? Oh, awesome. It's like hurting a small tornado. I mean, big, t like, swap that out with big tornado. And I think we'll be in agreement. Ooh, treasure. Our heroes chanced upon a relic, a testament to glorious battles of the past. And some long forgotten treasure. More likely Coglin loot stolen from unwary travelers. The hero's handbook declares after beating up ruffians fair and square, the champion deserves a proper reward. All right, well, let's make it proper out here. We got a repair vial. All right. I also have a whole bunch of these random bushes over here. I guess I'll plumb those for treasure. So let's see here. We've got items. We've got a repair vial right there. Yeah, run it on us. That sounds good. I don't know how much those helos for, but we don't have any more right now, so I can't look. Don't worry about it. It's not important. Oh, shoot. More of those pint-sized troublemakers. Let's ambush them. The Hero's Handbook describes just what to do in a situation like this. There's two whole pages with diagrams on how to startle them. And... We sneak up behind him, strike first, and gain the upper hand. You must realize that regardless from which direction you're waving a sword at anybody, you're going to startle them. Whoa, so you say the method will work on anybody? This book is great! Alright, gain an upper hand against them by pressing the indicated button when they're close enough to preemptively strike them. Yeah, like that right there. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Oh, we got fire pillars? Yeah, dude. Alright, let's do fire pi Oh, I need more for that. Can I preemptively gain that? Oh, I can? Nice. Okay, so we'll do that right there, and we'll just knock one of these guys out right now. I was hoping that that's the way that was going to work. This should finish him off without too many problems. Luckily, she's got that, yeah, spell book over there. It's going to allow us to do a little bit of fire damage. You would think that a creature that's made out of pure steel would not really care about fire, but in this case, it appears as though they do. We'll go fire pillar right there. 11 damage right there, and then a book bash right there. I'm a fan of, like, overwhelming offense rather than worrying about defense and upgrades and buffs and all that kind of stuff. I don't care about that. That doesn't matter. I'm all about knocking my enemy out before they knock me out. A little bit more XP. Sounds good. A little bit more treasure. A little bit more goodies that we can throw up inside the pack pack. All right. Let's move to the next map. Maybe kill off some bushes. I like the interactivity with the environment. That's pretty fun. I guess I'll go up first. That feels more... Oh, that dude's huge. Let's go this way. Never mind. We're going this way. Look, Copernica. Even the Coglins have raised statues of Gildamek, the ancient hero. The majestic pose, the pride of a great deed oozing from every cut of the chisel. Now, if those statues are literally everywhere... Of course they are. Gilgamesh saved our kingdom of certain doom. 
He defeated a huge snarling behemoth, tore out its evil heart with his bare hands, and... And you can relive that very moment in your hero's coloring handbook. At least Coglins know how to appreciate the heroes of the past. Unlikely, they seem to be more into piles of garbage and lumber held together by yarn. Alright, so this right here will restore our hero's health. It also creates a respawn. Oh, okay. So it's a respawn point for all of our enemies. Well, then maybe we won't do that just yet. Maybe we'll fight this guy first. I don't think we've lost that much HP, so let's dive on into combat up in here. Aggressively and greedily, because I see treasure. Alright. I'm gonna play Bravado. And then Fire Pillar. And then Heroic Strike. I like to have a little bit of extra DPS going on. Good, we've already reduced his health pretty handily right now, almost by half. So he's run Tenacity, which looks like it probably gives him some kind of armor buff. If Heroic Strike, Heroic Strike, and Brave Buster right there. We'll try both of those out. So there's eight damage with a resistance right there. Oh, really? Bummer. Okay, so his defensive ability actually kind of set us on our heels a little bit. We weren't able to deal as much damage as I wanted to on that turn. Uh, we'll go with Fire Pillar and then a couple of Book Bashes right there, and that should sort him out, hopefully. I don't know if he's going to be able to guard against magical damage. I sincerely hope not. With one HP left, it doesn't really matter how much he resists, because anything that's greater than zero is going to knock him out and turn him into dust. Let's get that XP and level on up. Aw, yeah. A little bit more HP right there. A little bit of gold, some smoldering embers, and also a treasure chest! Found a steel bracer. Okay. Let's go ahead and dive on into our inventory menu right here. We got equipment. We go with an accessory. It looks like it raises our health. I'm okay with it. Let's put on the steel bracer. No visual change to our character, unfortunately. A little bit of a downer. I prefer that we get some kind of visual upgrade, but you know what? You can't always get what you want. I guess I'll restore health right here, and then we will continue on to the next map. It's got a little bit of a darkest dungeon feeling to it, almost, with the way you traverse through maps. Wait, can that be? The Peppermint Puffer. It's even more majestic than I could imagine. Success smells like peppermint. I'll be eating breakfast, dessert, and brushing your teeth at the same time. We're not gonna... You know what? Let's just grab it and get out of here. Alright, well the quest is over, so let's claim it for ourselves. Just like the grinding gears of endless time, our heroes halted to catch their breath. With their peppermint perfume prize in hand, they readied their blades. Hands off. The Puffer's gonna clean out the mold from the funnel of the old well. We're helping the entire village. You need to dry it in a whole piece to extract all of the, uh... Did you hear that? I can't help it. The sweet and crisp scent makes me hungrier by the second. I don't think that was your belly. Oh. Damn. I know what you're gonna say, but imagine how much stew that we could make. Rawr! Eek. My mushrooms! Who dares steal Gomphus's beautiful mushrooms? Easy there, Chief. We're just here to pick some of these unsuspecting innocent mushrooms, you ravagers. I'm not a ravager, I'm an alchemist. Gonfus, no care. Gonfus will teach you not to plunder nature. Okay. We'll go with a heroic strike right there. Start out with a flame pillar, and hopefully that'll deal out some damage. We're, like, not even scratching this thing. This worries me somewhat. Oh man, he's poisoned us. Like, seeing as we're a machine, I kind of felt like maybe poison wouldn't matter. But... Apparently it does. So we're gonna go for a heroic strike over here. I'm gonna try and, like, stock up a little bit. Probably go for that dude right there and then finish off the turn. That's gonna be, like, another 50 damage out. I don't know if it's gonna be enough to really settle with this guy. But it's a start. He did a war cry. Well, that's better than him attack. Oh, never mind. It still hurt. It still stung very, very badly. All right. So we're going to run Bravado right there. Then we'll do a Brave Buster. And then I guess we'll do a Book Bash. I'll start running shields in just a minute. But, like, you guys know me. I'm all out, all about attack. I believe in it. So 44 damage and a Book Bash. Not much, but, like, at least he's spreading the damage around a little bit, so that's good. Alright, so let's go with a magic barrier right there, a magic barrier right there, and then a brave buster right there. I don't know how much that's going to protect us from. It looks like actually a significant amount. 
So hopefully this will negate out his entire turn. But he's got maximum cogs right now, which makes me think something bad's about to happen to us. Oh, he called in the little homies. Okay, they're kind of adorable. Hmm. All right, well, we'll heroic strike you. Actually, well, I kind of have to. All right, so that can go there. Then we'll flame wave. Then we'll bravado again just to heal a little bit. That sounds all right. Good. Well, at least they're weak to fire, so that's a plus. I've been kind of worried about how this whole thing's going to transpire. Luckily, we're able to soak hits pretty easily with our shields. So, we'll run that over there. We'll run Brave Buster right there, and then we'll run that right there. And I think that's a fairly well self-contained turn to keep us from taking even more damage. I mean, in a way, a heal is basically a shield, and a shield is a heal, if you think about it that way. Did you just do, like, the nose break move? Like, she put her palm out like she was trying to break somebody's nose with that attack right there. Like, you know how when you were, like, kindergarten, they'd be like, Nuh-uh, if you hit somebody in the nose with your palm, it'll push their nose bone up into their brain and they'll die. Like, you remember how kids used to do that? I felt like that was the attack that she was initiating right there. Kind of keep the shield up as much as possible. He continues to be weak to flame, so we're making progress, but all it's going to take is, like, one or two good knuckle dusters, and we're going to be knocked off of our horse here. Um, I'm going to go Flame Pillar, Heroic Strike, and Brave Buster. We're going to go for an all-out DPS turn right here. Not a bad amount of damage. I'd still like to see more. Like, she's basically one hit away from death. So if we don't pull up Flame Wave right here, we're going to have a problem dealing with this turn. We have two Fire Pillars. Weak Sauce. I don't like what's happening. I feel like bad things are occurring, but I'm trying to keep damage on him for right now. Like, I probably should have killed his little buddy, but... Depending on what little buddy does over here... Oh, he only does two damage? Okay. Well, hopefully we can finish this dude off on this turn. So we got Flame Wave right there. Put a shield on yourself. Actually, put out the Book Bash right there and then the Flame Wave right there just to clear out the adds. got a little bit more desperate more rapidly than I wanted it to. I feel like we're scrabbling right now. So Warcry went out. It dealt no damage. Keep mana barriering yourself, I guess. And then we'll see if we can finish him off right there. With the weakness, I think we should be able to kill him. Like, this should be the end of it. Oh, the shields don't stack. I learned a new thing today. Okay. Good to know for future reference on a turn that really was kind of benign anyway, so it didn't matter. I'll take extra XP. Ooh, extra HP is really good, too. Definitely take that. And so we got a scroll fragment right there. We got some lustrous fibers, and we got a repair vial. I didn't even break a sweat. I'll be accepted into the guild in no time. I let you tag along to the forest, and you turn it into a freaking fight club. Hey, you wanted to experience nature hands-on, right? I say we stuff our bags full of mushroom and get back to the village. The things I do for learning. Nice. Okay, well, apparently we got 67% of the treasure. Apparently I missed out on something along the way. I don't think I missed any paths or anything, though. The village of Goose Bucket. That's why I've told you a million times already, you should never stroke a duck against the wind. But it was so cute and fluffy, and oh, a wagon. A fluffy wagon duck. I've never seen a wagon like that before. I wonder whose it is. Was that here earlier? Wouldn't hurt to have a look, I suppose. Alright, let's go look at it. Hello? Anybody in there? Maybe they're out. Hmm, a knight errant knocking on an old woman's wagon this early in the morning? Sorry to disturb, we were just curious. You're totally a wise old woman, right? 
Ooh, do you hand out quests? Because I'm more than ready for... No, I'm afraid I'm just a plain old traveling shopkeeper and the shop isn't quite open yet. Well, we've been on a mission from the ancient gods and we've been picking mushrooms. Excuse my friend, we didn't mean to bother you. Not at all. In fact, what sort of merchant would I be if I left you to leave without a small sample? A tribute from a wise elder. Lowers all foes' strength by one grade for three turns. Deals 120% frost damage to one foe and an equal amount to another random foe. Just the thing for a pair of young go-getters such as yourselves, I should think. Farewell, and be sure to visit my shop in town later once the ruckus is done and over with. The ruckus? There was no ruckus to be talked about. What a nice old lady. Yeah, what did she mean by ruckus, though? So we got a batch of brand new punch cards. How nice. To use them in battle, you'll need to pay a visit to the deck building screen and put them in the punch card deck. Okay. Let's go in here, and we've got our decks over here. So we've got a folder with all of our collected decks. And we can probably dive on in. We've got Creeping Cold right there. Alright, yeah, add it. Like, I don't want to diversify, like, too heavily in terms of... Keep editing, keep editing. Well, I guess I've got to save it, right? Oh, I've got too many. We'll take it. Get rid of Book Bash. Oh, that costs us, though. So Book Bash is a builder. Gotcha. Alright, will the Shout do anything? I suppose I could get rid of a bravado and put that in. Alright, well, let's continue on our way. To the village! To the wall! What does that do? Ooh, it gives me money. Yeah. Storage mediums? Consider thyself vanquished. Wait a minute, something's not right. What are those thick guild hero types who were supposed to watch the gate? You mean the ones who laughed at us and said, don't get lost in the forest? Maybe Master Gain summoned everybody to the guild club. Once I get my guild membership, I'll honor the code just like Gilgamesh and we'll strike down on injustice with fire? Damn right, sparks are gonna fly if anybody tries to... No, look, the smoke, there's something burning. Hurry, let's find out what's going on. Alright, let's hustle on out. Wow, that's a fire, alright. What happened? We were only gone for a few hours. Look, there's some commotion going on towards the market square, let's check it out. A decisive victory for the Void. Those dumbbells will never know what hit them. It was us, sir. We hit them, sir. Corporal Badge, as in previous villages, see to it that all guild heroes are wrapped up neatly. Yes, sir. An honor, sir. We'll have them all rounded up and ready for transport in no time. You heard the captain sweep the village with pride in our chest. A new world order is close at hand. This is great. I've always wanted to be an evil henchman. I know the Dark Lord is going to reshuffle the world and all, but why do we need the guild heroes? You're one of the new recruits, right? We don't ask any questions in the void. Why not? Shut up. Ah, you numbskulls are obviously involved with the fire. Prepare to be rightfully punished. More guild heroes, huh? The captain's going to be pleased. Well, I'm not part of the guild yet, but thank you. I mean, prepare to go down, evildoers. Alright, so we've already got Flame Wave ready to go. We'll throw that over there. I'll have her barrier herself since she's like squishier than our other character. And then we'll throw out a Flame Pillar over there. Hopefully it does a little bit of damage. The strike was heroic indeed. I agree that that was quite the heroic strike. Perfect. So Intimidate, that's going to lower our attack power I guess. And then he's going to counter stance. I assume that means if I hit him I'm going to be punished for it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and shout. I don't know if the counter is going to count for that, but you know what? Such is life. I suppose I could re-roll some of these. There we go. Throw out that heroic strike right there. Looks good to me. Making progress. Good. Shield ate that one right there, so we don't have to worry about any real damage. He's in counter stance, so we're going to rotate our damage around a little bit. I don't want to flame wave anybody right now, but we'll see if magic attacks actually proc counter blows right now. I want to test that out. Oh, his counter strike is still up. Weak. Okay. I thought it fell off already. I thought it was only up for like one turn so long as he didn't attack. 
Looks like magic sort of doesn't call back down retaliations, but I don't know. We got counter right there, but not right there. So maybe additive effects don't get countered? I'm not sure. We'll have to observe and report. Go ahead and kill him off. Do bravado first, I guess. Then kill him off. And then... Keep your, keep your mana barrier up. I think it's a good idea to make sure that we're protected from damage, especially since her HP is so much lower. We do have a nice backlog, though, of cogs right now. I'm pretty pleased with that. Alright, so his counter has fallen off. Now's the turn to finish him off. We'll go with that and Brave Buster, and I think that should be good enough, but just for extra effect, in case it isn't. Perfect. One more enemy falls to the ground. This game is called Steam World Quest. We're out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Really, really happy to have you here in the world of indie games so that every day I can sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile and show you new video games coming out. Wishlist this one. It's called Steam World Quest, or you can go ahead and just buy it. I got a link for you down below. If you wanted to check the game out for yourself, it features beautiful hand-drawn art, turn-based combat, and a little bit of deck building in there as well if you're addicted to that kind of thing. I'll see y'all later. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you when next we convene, probably tomorrow. Bye, everybody.